Hey everybody, Ryan Dossie here with a quick update on PropStream that I am absolutely thrilled that they have finally put out. So if you've followed me for any length of time, um, we're a big fan of this software and uh, we really use it more as a data provider. We're not using like their direct mail or their skip tracing feature, um, but really, really fond of their data for the fact that you don't have to pay per record. So historically, um, I'm a big list source user. I've bought, I mean, millions of records at this point. Um, but the cool thing with PropStream, their $100 a month includes 10,000 exports, which is breaks down to a penny per record. You can't find data cheaper than that, 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 that is this level of quality. So the only thing I was still using list source for was seniors with equity. Now I've done some posts on this, but seniors with equity historically are the largest deals with the thickest margins. I think it's just older properties that haven't been updated, that have been well maintained, that make them a really good candidate for fix and flippers. Well, um, PropStream has it now. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to use it and then answer the question, how do they define what a senior is? So in list source, you can run an age filter of like 55 to 99 plus or you know 65 plus, etc. I actually really, really, really like how PropStream does this instead. So you're gonna type in your farm area. Um, I literally just moved to Pensacola. You can see like don't even have the office put together at this point. So we're gonna look in Pensacola and you're gonna click this filter button and then on the quick list choices, you're gonna collect, you're gonna select seniors. Now you'll notice there's 11,346 of them in my market. So I would still personally um, add an equity filter to this before I'd pull the list. I do 35 to 100%. So that drops it to you know 10,000. So you might wanna do some other things if you're trying to smush it down smaller than that, but would simply collect all, add the list, and then I would go over into the My Properties and just export that list and then send it to my mailhouse from there. So that is how to pull a Seniors with Equity list from PropStream. This is a brand new update. I think it was released last week. But um, to answer the question, how are they determining this? So they're looking at somebody who's been in the same property for 20 years, which is kind of what I thought they were doing, was just a long-term owner, um, which my gut reaction was, well, that's not necessarily a senior, but I reached out to support. Um, Liz at PropStream is fantastic, as is Burton. And I was like, hey, what's the deal? How are you guys getting this? So how they're grabbing it is actually from the tax assessor. So these are folks that have applied for a tax exemption or a discount on their property taxes because they are seniors on a fixed income. That's huge. Uh, the reason why I say that, demographic data is kind of hard to pin down. So even list sources, I wasn't, I would say, fully confident in the fact that if I told, asked them for you know 49 to 50 year olds that it was going to be just that, right? So the neat thing with this is this is done literally at the county level. The thing that's really cool with that, we've seen Google and now Facebook throttle back the amount of targeting and data we have access to based off of personally identifiable information. So I could definitely see that potentially happening with list source, but the perk of how PropStream is grabbing this is it's not really so much about the person, but it's an exemption that's applied to the property. So I think that's really smart and should be data that we can pull out of here for a long time to come. Um, the only thing, my only gripe with this, uh, Liz or Burton, if you see this, is the length of ownership cap. Um, I'm actually, I'll shoot them an email about it, but I would really like to see where that cap can be adjusted. So if I want people who've only been there for 10 years, I think the average American moves every eight, or maybe I want people who've been there for 30 plus. So I would like to see a little bit of wiggle room there. If you try this in your market and it doesn't work, because I've heard this from a few people, your county just does not give them this data. So this might not work in your market, but like I said, every legit investor I know 
their largest, most profitable deals have come from this list, so you might as well give it a shot. Be sure to like and subscribe. Talk to you guys next time.